So, hello, and a very special day announcement on the channel, because today we are carping Master Bucks. Uh, today, we have our own Creator Club career mode. We are starting off. So, we should just get down to it. So, sure, you have a new club you want, and you do think it's kind of streamlined. They're all plastics, like Man City. I know they've been around 125 years, but they haven't really. So, um, you, you want to think, how do we have any history? But the thing is, we, ha we do have a backstory, don't you worry. So, our backstory, if you may lies on the shoulders of this man here, Herb Chambers, 17-year-old lad, and he, he was waiting in Tesco, waiting in the queue in Tesco, maybe he was buying uh, a meal deal, maybe a nice little crunchy, maybe a pack of match tacks. Everyone, everyone loves a nice Honda club every now and then, so pretty much, he, someone skipped ahead of him in the queue in Tesco, and usually you think whatever you get on with your day, but, um, Herb Chambers, Herb Chambers here, he does not, um, he does not, He's very, um, he is posh and has anger managers. I mean, he is in a good position and because of that can fulfill his dreams, like, easily. So, because of that, he noticed the person that cuts him in the queue is wearing, was wearing a Middlesbrough top, right? Middlesbrough football top. And, um, usually whatever, like, someone from Middlesbrough cuts you. I don't know if that's happened to you in real life. It's never happened to me. But it very well, it could have happened to someone in real life that's not too far-fetched. Um... So, not only that, but because someone skipped ahead of him in the queue, they ran out of bags. He, the guy in front of him, he took the last bag. He needed to use a reusable bag. He, he needed to save the environment. No one wants to save the environment, and he had to do that. No one should have to go through that, I think. So, he, 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 gets, he goes home. He goes and gets a small 200-pound loan from his father, and he, and he establishes AFC Topspra. With the only one thing in mind. Sure, they can be Middlesbrough, but we're AFC Topsbrough. Just that much better. Just to cause an inconvenience every day to, for the rest of the person that cut him in Tesco's life. So, you may notice, we have a pigeon on our badge. Believe it or not, I, I couldn't see any... You th I mean, you think of badges. You think some badges of animals. I mean, Lester of a fox. Wolves have a wolf, believe it or not. But then you think about birds. Newcastle, the Magpies, North City, the Canaries, Liverpool, a lava bird, uh, they have a lava bird in the badge, maybe mythical, but there is on a, I didn't notice a pigeon on any 92 clubs, top 92 English clubs of football, so, and why not? Pigeons are great birds, so that's why we have the pigeons, our club anthem is Mary Berry by Nico B, and you probably can't see it because it's tiny, I can put a picture on screen, but um, our club slogan is um on the bottom it is penalty merchant in latin and for no other reason because i thought of this dumb idea of a series when i was watching the united brighton game earlier remember that game when they blew for extra time and then they took a pen and yeah that game when i was watching that game that's when i came up with this idea then it says fly like a pigeon latin as well which is another line from mary berry probably one of the top five songs of all time personally i think so we, we do have some of daddy's money left over and 12 million pounds. So you look at Troy Parrott, you look at, he's a really strong young striker. There's a lot of young talent in this team. And um, Darren from the pub should not go and notice the 58 year old has offered to help out at left back, one of our best players. So we should be seeing a lot of growth out of him. And because we don't need a striker, we're going to sign Olivier Giroud um, from Chelsea. So it, it should be around 10 million. We're pro so let's see if we can offer 10 million and one. Right, moment of truth, we're wearing the kit in the negotiation, which I'm not sure about. 10 million and one. Come on, Frank. Don't bother this. Oh, it's not even Frank, because he's been sacked. I don't know if the game updated, though. So, yeah, now we go into the negotiations, and then Olivia Giroud's a League 2 striker. Right, so the negotiation had to end, but don't fret. So, yeah, f funny story when you come to think of it. Um. All of a sudden, I mean, my finger slipped. All of a sudden, we have 101k in a wage budget, and we're just gonna sim two weeks, and we might get um have enough to sign Giroud. So technically, those two are gonna be the first games in AFC Tops for history, but they're also preseason, so at the same time, who care less? So um, because I'm too lazy to cut this out, maybe a bit of waffle to add to the watch time while we sim through these games against um Vela here. We we lose two one. Brilliant. Um. And, okay, we beat the League One side. And the thing is, you may have noticed the um, name of the manager. It's definitely not something I just ripped off that I found funny in a Masterbox video. It definitely has a lot of thought and insight. Like, um, 
the rest of it, this series. Definitely has thought and insight. Definitely. Um, so can we go for Giroud? We can. We can, and we will, and we will. You know, we're, we're gonna get him this time because we could have changed it a lot, but we didn't. Because like putting in not that much effort to get a good result, we don't do that. We put in all the effort and get no results. Have money. When you have money, you can do anything. You you can start a dumb football club if you want to. Olivier Giroud in League Two colors. What is this series? So yeah, I might sort out something tactical to actually fit the both of them into the lineup. Um, to the four and two and two. Lovely, lovely. Chambers can play center mid, so we'll stick him in there. Um, ignore that thing, even though he gets mad and he's angry. Yeah, so this is just a squad. Um, some names to note: Luke Matheson, Kevin. Um, Bazuna, so yeah, just just good prospects all around, all around. So we do have another game against Dundee, but our first league game is against Tranmere. So anyway, we ha we have the very first game of AFC Tops for history. You, Giroud, Giroud's already gone down one overall. Um, you, you guys are gonna tell your grandkids about this. The day you saw AFC Tops Pro played Tranmere on a FIFA sim for a channel that has four subs. It all comes down to this, really. Away, so um. We're not going to wear white kits, but speaking of kits, it is a perfect time to actually talk about these. So Tesco have clearly um, um, offered to sponsor us. We did not throw a shift fit in the store and knock over four shelves um, saying, do you know who I am? Harry Maguire came in to assist us on that one, so cheers to that. We have the Carling has offered to sponsor us. So you see Big Darren from the pub, he actually consumes 47% of Carling a year, so they figured, and he said he would stop. And the thing is, because he's one of the seven people that still drink Carling, um, the, it, was, it was an offer they couldn't afford to refuse. And then, I can't show it to you now, but I, the goalkeeper kit is pretty much just the 2018 Nigeria kit, but light green, and it says NordVPN on it. So here we go. It all comes down to this. The very first competitive match in AFC Topspur history. The boys in purple. Giroud and Parrot. Here we go. And here we go. A sunny day in... Uh, I know training is near Liverpool, so a sunny day in near Liverpool, as they're great, and Lee Dixon are loving it. I'm actually going to turn the commentator off, I'm sorry. I, I, I turned it down, but I, I have to turn it off, I'm sorry. Um, just not the same without Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. I do quite, lead, quite like Lee Dixon, though. I'm not going to lie. I, I do. I think he, he, he's a very, very witty fella. So here we go. The very first game of AFC Tops for history. It all comes down to this big Darren staring down. Wondering how many life decisions it took. That's our manager, Wayne Kerr, our, our manager, in his blue hair and beanie. Definitely not going through a midlife crisis. So here we go. The very first game of AFC Tops for history. Live from Ivy Lane, somewhere near Liverpool. So just starting off, I think there's a combined seven pace throughout this entire team. And you may hear the doorbell going off in my house right now. I don't know if you can. Probably not. Because I think the speaker is down the hall. I don't know if you heard that. I, I'm just waffling, just waffling against Giroud and Parrot linking up for the very first time in the legendary purple and blue. Parrot, he lays up to Robertson. We have support. Ju Parrot choose to lay it up to Johnson instead. Big Darren playing it in. Big Darren to Giroud. Giroud's in the box. Giroud shoots and he dispatches it. Olivier Giroud on his League 2 debut. He's celebrating like he scored the best goal of the season because he has. It's the biggest goal of his career so far. Olivier Giroud makes it 2-1. The Ultras are absolutely loving it. The AFC Tops were Ultras that were paid off by Herbert's father. Look at that. Beautiful precision. Outskilled by Olivier Giroud in the box and up the Pigeons. The Pigeons go up 1-0. Johnson, he lays it off to Big Darren, the 50 years of age, it will not stop him, he takes a shot, oh, j just deflected, maybe um, the 400 pounds and 7 foot 9 build isn't the best for attacking, but we move. Johnson on the ball, a little 1-2 to Parrot, playing it back and forth, Johnson waiting for Giroud, waiting the 4 years for Giroud to find space. Robertson, he lays it off to Parrot, Parrot, and he only goes and scores right before halftime. AFC drops for two. Oh, look at Parrot's boots, he matches the kit, they might be blue, I didn't even plan that, but, oh, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, as I was cut off before being distracted by football boots, the main point is AFC tops with two, Tremere, Rovers, nil, as we go into the break. We are waltzing through the league, we're on to a 100% win rate. We will be the best team in English football history after this one game alone, if we continue this way. 
Olivia jeered, wondering what went wrong for new playing Tremere Rovers away after winning the Europa League a few years ago. Is that Chelsea's most recent achievement? Yeah, I think it is. Th that's kind of a random one. He has had quite a decorated career. He, he kind of won the World Cup two years ago. Can't really forget about that. Probably better than winning um and beating Arsenal and Azerbaijan under Mirzi Sorry, Maybe a tad bit better, but... I don't know. I, I, I'm not good at thinking. I'm probably... I'll edit my videos and think, why did I say that? That's only what I planned. I, I'm not writing a script, believe it or not. This is my actual waffling. Um, but when I do, I, I just go off it. So Morris getting his first action in the game. He's like just over his 30s for real life. I don't know why he's gray hair. He doesn't on his mini face, but we got our first glimpses of goalkeeper kit. So as I said, just a light green version of the Nigeria kit with NordVPN. Because NordVPN offered to sponsor us because... They sponsor everyone. Surfshark came in as well. ExpressVPN did. Raid Shadow Legends. Um, Stereo. Stereo came in as well. But we went with the nice classic NordVPN. Pirate playing around. Big Darren. Big Darren lays it off to Robinson. Lays it off to White. To Giroud for a second. And Olivia Giroud. Calm as you like. Tucked into the bottom corner. We are running riot in the stadium somewhere near Liverpool. I could, I'm reasonably sure they're on Merseyside. Could I start saying Merseyside from now on? I should know this, um, but I don't. But yeah, I mean, Giroud's 33. Maybe in the future we could see him as manager of AFC Topspra. Maybe when we start getting the club legends filtering through. Cause if, if it's a young team, we're not going to have people come through the academy and book for retiring club legends in one season in one series of career mode so we're gonna need that that's why that's why the i picked a bunch of 40 year old players definitely not because they were cheap um big darren though 58 still going strong old enough for my father i think i made in the calculations i don't know though i'm not good at maths but like i feel like that's one of the things they shouldn't get wrong because they could indicate something a bit um yeah i'm gonna stop talking it's just not enough right now so i think we're gonna throw him on rogers rogers who to put him for uh I think I say we, I say we run Jared and Cam. His pace is 38. His pace is 38. Jesus. Okay, um, he can, he can play Cam. So we'll stick him in, so we'll stick him in center mid, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do for now. Robson's played well though. Too bad to give to him. Oh, the, the fullback, the fullbacks are tired. We'll throw in, we'll throw in Mastin for Big Darren. Big Darren's putting in a shift. Here's another shift to work down at Weatherspoons later tonight, so we'll we'll have him rest up for that. Make enough. He lays it off to G Parrot. That's not Giroud. Parrot. Ah, Giroud in the box. <laughs> Absolute carnage. Is that a pen? If it's a pen, only one man's taking it. It is a pen. You would think I would. Uh, I was gonna give it to the keeper, but I guess we want Giroud to get his hat trick on his League Two debut from Leg On to League League Two. Very very similar leagues. Can I time it right? Because I always mess that up. And we've only gone and done it. Olivia Giroud bagging a hat trick on his AFC Topspur debut. You love to see it. Again, just waffle. You came here for a Topspur, you get waffles. I don't care if you're a pancake person. Pancake day's over. Giroud's in. Giroud shoots. Giroud scores. Four on the day. 5 0 to AFC Topspur. We are running riot. We. We're winning the league, lads. We're, 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 we're gonna win the league. Giroud lays it up to Parrot. I think Parrot might have one goal. Parrot, he's breached the Tremere defense. Parrot shoots, and he goes and scores again. 6-0 on the professional debut of AFC Topspra. We will be taking all three points from Merseyside. I think it's a Merseyside. I don't know, because believe it or not, although I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm not actually from Liverpool. I know, I know I sound very scouse. I know you all, but no, no, I'm not actually. Believe it or not. Parrot lays up to Giroud for his fifth, I believe, in lose count. It's just like a knife through hot butter for the lad. Five goals for Olivia Giroud, I think. Maybe six. Did he get a double hat trick? We have seven. I know Parrot got one. Parrot got two. Parrot might have gotten two. I don't know. This game's been a very enjoyable game. Let's see. How many does he have? Five. Okay, so not quite a double hat trick, but absolute brilliant performance. So we could have had our goalkeeper take that pen and he still would have gotten a hat trick. But it's okay. We move. We move, lads. So there we go. Three blows and referee's whistle. Seven goals for us. None for Tremere. Uh, again, we have the best win rate domestically of any team in English football ever. The Invincibles. Cities, like, what, I don't know what they called them. Like, when they won the league, but, like, they had 100 points. Like, eh, no, we're better than all of them. Sir Alex Ferguson, we have a better win percentage in English football than him. So, um, yeah. Top of the league. 
I do want to play our home debut, but I'm not going to do that many. I do want to focus on the cup, though. If we win the FA Cup, we go we go to the Europa League. If we win the Carabao Cup, we go to Europa League qualifying. I think it'll be funny for, like, say we get promoted to have a League 1 team in the Europa League. Or we stay here, League 2 team. That's even funnier. So, yeah. I'd also like to see how we do for the Sims so we get somewhat fair. But we have to have it a little fair and fun. Because you can't have both. You can't do anything fairly in life and expect to have fun. That's just how it works. Everyone should know that, I think. Well, that's... It appears... Because of that peculiar performance, Jude got an inform. Now he has 42 pace, 82 rated. Way to go. So, he, we're, just, we're just taking League 2 by storm. We're just absolutely walking the league. We have no chance whatsoever. So here we go, our home debut. The very first game at Common Lane um, against Stevenage, who have Burger King as their sponsor. Um, no, no, no comment, no comment. Um, so, yeah. Here we go, welcoming the lads at home for the very first time. Olivia Giroud playing a bit, a bit, a bit of back, back to forth with Big Darren, with the World Cup winner with the Weatherspoon Slayer. Here we go, beautiful sun on Common Lane as our club anthem plays beautifully in the distance as we welcome Stevenage, Steve, as we welcome Stevenage to our home game. Very first home game in the career, not in the career, in the history of AFC Topsbrook. 7 0 in the last one. Let's get another solid performance of the lads. Inform Giroud. It's like Akron Fenwa. Giroud. It's. I mean, it's like Inform Akron Fenwa. It's, it's it's too good. He makes all the other teams, all the other players better. He could be the only one in your team. One man team. So, here you go. Seven, look how terrified they are. Sir Olivier himself. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful man. Well, it's Big Darren may have conceded a penalty, it's okay. Oh, he's taller than the ref. I don't know if I've ever seen that. He's like a whole head taller than the ref. Here we go. Is it a pen? It is. Can Morris step up? Morris versus Morris, it looks like. Oh, this he goes. Jan Oblikou. Peter Cech who? Prime Van der Sar who? Yashin who? Not even Ben Foster, the cycling goalkeeper, can get to the level of this man. I can't think of anyone who, who's better on Morris. May maybe Cal the Dragon. Okay, Cal the Dragon. He's the one exception, but that's fair enough. That is a club he that is a um, title he will gladly share. Pirate, he lays it off to Giroud. Giroud's up to 42 pace. Does he have the beating of the defenders? Not really, because it was a bad pass. Definitely not Giroud's lack of pace, also. Parrot, he can lay it off. He was looking to lay it off, but not quite. Parrot with it again. Parrot with it. He's through on goal. Parrot with the shot. And Parrot scores the first home goal in AFC Tops for history. AFC Tops are one, 7 0. AFC Tops was a mouthful, so we might just start saying pigeons as well. There, as you can see, he was trying to lay it up, but got dispossessed. Then he wins it back using the passion, using the spirit. As he lays it into the left-hand side of the net, what's that? His second, maybe third goal. His third goal in League Two. I could see him and Giroud going out for the Golden Boot. They're like the Kane and Son of League Two, but quite better. Parrot being the former Spurs man, actually on loan from Ipswich, and we, we we bought him from the team he was on loan on. Yeah, so um, Marine is gonna be fuming about that. So, um, if we play Spurs, like remember when um United beat Spur beat West Ham their last game. At um their old stadium, it's like they pelted their bus with. That's that's what's gonna happen to us when we play Spurs. All the angry Spurs fans, all four of them, are gonna pelt their bus with rocks. As here we see, Herb Chambers potentially his first goal for the club. He's selfish. He was gonna shoot. Oh, what a goal! Potentially a Puskas winner. I forgot that was the default celebration. I think he may have concussed himself, but he's only gone and made it two 0 Lovely goal from the 17-year-old. Nice little back heel assist, or I'm not sure who that was, number 17 there. Lovely little lofted finish. Just a sitter right into the bottom left-hand corner. That's enough. You don't need to see the replay again, even though it was a lovely goal. 2-0 to the Pigeons. Drew, he lays it up to Parrot. Is he through? He is. Parrot's really good at finding space. Ooh, the finish wasn't quite there, but the build-up, very promising. Again, we're showing the chances. I know it's like a broken record, as Drew had her slightly off target. Um, Wayne... Kerr is not really, it's not really, um, having it over at the touchline, but it's okay. He, he is also going through a midlife crisis, so we, we support him. Um, he, he actually is a Weatherspoon's black card in this difficult time for him. Not, not sure whose idea that was. It, it was probably Darren's. It, it, it isn't a good idea, but, uh, don't shoot the messenger. All I'm saying is the current situation we have on our hands. Oh no, we might concede the first goal of our history. But Morris steps up with his 91 goalkeeping ability. Better than Leviashin. Better than Iker Casillas. Better than Allison. Even better 
than Casper Schmeichel. And I don't say that about anyone a lot because it's not true. I prefer not to speak. Okay, they may have gotten an equalizer. And by may have, I mean they did. I think it was Norris. I thought his name was Morris earlier. But, um, yeah, no, it's Norris. So, well, the, the pressure's on to pull him back here. Um, maybe we could make some substitutions. Maybe I should have done that before I did the restart. But it, it's okay. Herbert's mad. Playing with our heart on our sleeves as we strive for the winner at home at Common Lane. All the fans are definitely aren't being paid off. It's like, it's like it's like city fans, but like on a greater level. Remember when they paid city fans to go to games? I don't even know if that was true. I I kind of I, I I don't want to look up if it's true or not because I kind of want it to be true. I don't I don't want to know if it's not true because it probably isn't. But I, I just don't want to know the fact that's not true. The thing is, usually the team replacing Barrow they would have blue kits right now. So they load in a, the ref in a purple top because they think, oh, that's fine. Purple and blue are in a lake. But the thing is, we're wearing purple kits, so I always keep accidentally passing to the ref. So if we lose this game, that's going to be my excuse. I'm just going to um, let you know beforehand. Liverpool fans always come up with excuses. Yeah, apparently. Giroud, the long ball up to Parrot. We know Parrot can usually find space when it's against him, but not that time because it was a truly atrocious through ball. Oh, here we go. Newton. Laws of gravity applied against him. That's a terrible... It wasn't even funny the first time. Why do I keep making that joke? I deserve to concede. And we're probably going to concede and lose our first home game. Just keep, see? Because now, if we don't, I'll be excited. You always prepare yourself for the worst in life. Because then, when you do the bare minimum, and you're very mediocre and below average, like myself and everything I do, you're not disappointed. It's brilliant, actually. It's not being... Okay, there we go. Level pegging. Drew gets his informed. We go off level. So we're still unbeaten. We're still an unbeat, like the only unbeaten team in our domestic history, league history in English football, which I'll take. Better than Sir Alex. Better than um Pep Guardiola. Better than Arsene Wegener. Why is Pep Guardiola the second manager I thought of? Better than Unai Emery. Better than Neil Warnock. All of them. So the EFL Cup. Carabao Cup. So yeah, as I said, I actually want to focus on cup games, because I think it'll be funny if we make the Europa League, but at the same time, I don't know if we should actually, like... Are the players fit enough? Uh, I think they are. Because we have Drew in our team. Get it, get it. He, he, he's, like, good-looking and, like, physically... Okay, I'll, I'll stop. It's a match. Let's see if our kit's actually purple in game, because they might just be blue. Should you replace Barrow? Lovely logo. No, no overlap whatsoever. No... I just sticking up with it. That's character. It's not because I keep, um, can't use Photoshop. There we go. Okay. We do a blue dots. That's fine though. So we're not actually orange for once, even though we have an orange badge. Brad for having the box a bit concerning. Oh, is that Parrot? Yes, Parrot is 40. Okay, I've looked over at the left side of the screen for once. Come on, on, on the set piece. I can't do set piece in real life, so maybe in the sim we'll be alright. We'll luck out. Laying it up in the box. I need to do a box. Oh, just proud for wanting it. Okay, we're starting to create a little more chances towards the 20th minute, so things are looking better than they were. Ooh, I don't like this from Bradford. Getting loads of chances. We need to just capitalize. We need to do what Liverpool did against Leipzig. We need to just send balls up and just kick them in and just win the Champions League. Okay, Brad, Parrot up to 45. Who's that? Who's that? Um, it's Big Darren, number 45. How could I forget that? 45 after how many stills he has at night. We got a cross in potentially. There's blue shirts in the area. Quite a few orange ones though as well. And, and we're just standing with the ball. Like we have all the time in the world. This attack's definitely going to lead to something. Why is Jared on the wing? He can't even... Oh, Parrot! Oh, okay, probably our best chance so far. See? I criticize it, but even they know the masterclass. They know that... See? These are the best players in the world. I... I couldn't come up with an explanation, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. I was going to say Shirley, but not quite. But we are getting the chances, and that's all that matters. Okay, Laird has been a bit knackered, so we're going to throw in Matson. I know that he, he is four-star weak foot. I know he's left back on Ben on Tyron's two-star weak foot. Um, attacking in masses instead of sending one into a few key attackers. We can really attack as a team now. Oh, 20 in the box. He lays it off to Giroud. Is it Giroud? It is. Giroud opens the scoring in the Carabao Cup. 56th minute. And as of now, we are going through against the Bantams.
Oh, that's not good. And Bradford score. Okay. Um, Clark. I don't, I don't know who that is. Um, because he. I don't really follow League Two. But um, okay. It's okay. We have we have the mentality. We're we're mentality monsters. Looks like they're gonna win. Oh. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna jump in. It's probably gonna be a disadvantage, but um, and I hit the wrong button. Brilliant. It's okay though. We need, we need. You know what? Let's throw Chambers and Cam. Let's throw in the left wing and center mid. That that always works. We're jumping in, boys and girls and anyone. Uh, everyone's welcome here. Here we go. Both wearing purple. Probably wouldn't better wear our away kits because I wasn't actually planning on physically playing. Maybe the computer was distracted. He definitely, definitely. That's why. Giroud. He lays it up. It's Matson, the left back. Matson, oh, just getting the shot off. Not quite, not quite. We got the rain. We got the, we got under the stadium lights. We got a nice. It's probably a Thursday or something. This is true. Lower league cut football. In right as I say that, they talk about a mobile sign from Man City. That that's not that's not League Two themed. Okay, lads, the Carabao Cup dream might be might it might be gone. It might, but that's okay, cause the Carabao Cup. Because AFC, we're a big club. We have to focus on big silverware, like like the FA Cup, you know. Here we go. Another attacking opportunity to Giroud. Surely. Come on. Giroud on the edge of the box. Surely. Oh! Ah! Oh, no. Not quite. We almost got the rebound, but no. We got Darren winning the header. 97% header win rate. We got Robertson looking for Giroud. Lace it up. Surely, Giroud. Pull him back here. And we're okay. The great escape is on. The comeback is on. 86 minute. All right, lads. Uh, about that comeback. Um, yeah, might might up you up, but again, that's because we want to focus on the FA Cup and the, the Europa League next year. Giroud's a good player in the Europa League. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and that's probably gonna include the episode playing wise. We'll see in the last few games. Watch those. Um, not actually watch them. Most watch them go by on the calendar and see what color the dots turn if we want to lost. Um, we got. Um, Bradford in the league, so we can get a revenge on the Bantams. Everybody, everybody, go home and just eat a chicken to get revenge on the Bantams. Or find a real Bantam. Actually, I'm not going to say that because it might be illegal to kill and eat the Bantam. So, don't, um, don't, don't do that. Look at that, though. All wins, and we're still going to be in the league. Will Bradford mess that up for us? Can we develop one of our first little rivalries? Besides Middlesbrough. It will. Okay. The nerve on Bradford to do that. Okay, so everyone go eat a chicken, um, EFL trophy actually, so it's not actually the FA Cup, you, you're not, like, this is like the hash, what hashtag United playing the FA Cup, it, it's not quite time for us yet, um, so we're still in third though, we're still very close, of course, early days to that Armac playoff spot, so yeah, Armac promotion, so yeah, um, so you have, um, 43 overall yet, no, he just hasn't decreased that badly actually, so, um, yeah, let me know if you like this series, I'm still probably going to do it anyway, regardless of what you say, but uh, no, like, I, I joke, but I, I do appreciate the support on the videos, um, so yeah, let me know if you liked it, or the series you might want to see in the future, whatever, what with things we can do with the career mode, because as you can see, like, the serious aspect, I just want to have fun, really, I, I, it would be fun to win trophies and stuff, but like, leave your, like, dumbest, stupidest things we could do, because we have... The cheat engine, like we could, like bring all, we could play like, Heskey in the game or something like that. So like, what, whatever you guys want, I'll with with within reason. I say within reason, just like nothing like offensive, but like uh, we can do like stretch the limits of just dumb stuff in this game. So yeah, I'm waffling. See you guys next time.